This video is about how to solve logarithmic problems. Okay, so the first thing to solve them, you're going to use a calculator a lot of times. Okay, so when you put this in a calculator, you're going to have to get to the format where you can adapt the base here. If you just use the log button, it's going to put a base of 10 in there. And in these situations, you need to change this base. So in order to do that, you go to, you're going to hit the math button, hit the up arrow, and then you should see a log base option. Okay, and when you do that, it will give you the framework log of something of something else, base something of something else. And then you would enter four of nine and get your answer. So I'll show you what it looks like on the calculator. So I would hit, there's math, I hit the up arrow, and then you see the log base, it's A, but if you arrow up, you'll get log base, and then you'll see the framework that comes up, log base whatever of whatever. So on this problem, it was the log base 4 of 9, and you hit enter. It's that simple. I get 1.58, 1 1.58, okay? So on this one, you're going to do the same keystrokes, and you're going to do log base 1 half of 7. When I do that, I get negative 2.81. Okay, yes, you can have negative answers. This is true. All right, remember what this is saying. It's saying 1 half to the negative 2.81 power gives me a positive 7. All right? All right, so to solve actual equations, here's three steps you want to use every single time. Condense it to a single log in the front if necessary, okay? Then swirl it to make it an exponential equation, then solve it. So look at example three. Condense it. Well, I don't need to condense it. I only have one log in the problem, so it's condensed. Then I need to swirl. So I start with the base and I swirl. So I get two to the third equals x over two. Then I solve it. Well, two to the third is two times two times two, which is eight equals x over two. Multiply both sides by 2, and x is 16. And I've solved a logarithm. Let's try this one. All right, one logarithm, so I don't need to condense, but I do need to get rid of this 3. So first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by 3. So now I have the log base 4 of x minus 2 equals 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now. Now I'm going to swirl this, okay? So 4 to the first power equals x minus 2. Well, 4 to the first power is just 4, so I have 4 equals x minus 2. Add 2 to both sides, x is 6. And I've solved that guy. Let's try this one. I got a single log, so I don't need to condense, but I do need to swirl. So I say 7 to the negative 1 power equals 3 times x. Well, remember your negative exponent. What does that do? It puts it in fractions. So 1 over 7 equals 3x. Now I need to get rid of the 3 by multiplying by its reciprocal. That will cancel my 3's over on this side. Over here, when you multiply fractions, remember you multiply straight across. So 1 over 21 equals x. That's my solution. Try this one. I have a single log to solve, but I have a plus 6. I need to get the logarithm by itself, so I'm going to get rid of the 6 first. I'm going to subtract 6. I get the log base 3 of 2x equals negative 2. Now I'm going to swirl. So I have 3 to the negative 2 power equals 2x. 3 to the negative 2 power, remember, is 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 ninth equals 2x. Get rid of the 2 by multiplying by its reciprocal. That gives me 1 over 18. And that's my answer. Number 7. I need to get the logarithm by itself. There's only one logarithm, so I don't need to condense it, but I do need to isolate it, getting rid of the 2. So divide both sides by 2. So the log base 5 of x equals negative 1 half. Now I swirl. So 5 to the negative 1 half power equals x. Now, remember what the 1 half power means? That means the square root. So 5 to the 1 half power equals the square root of 5. The negative puts it in the denominator. 
So what I have here is 1 over the square root of 5. equals x. But remember, you cannot leave a, ra a square root in the denominator. You must, you must rationalize. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. You did this back in Algebra 2. When you rationalize a denominator, you multiply it by that radical. So square root of 5 times 1 is square root of 5. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. So my solution is square root of 5 over 5. If you leave it as 1 over square root of 5, that is incorrect. That's, you can't do that. Let's look at number 8 over here. The log, remember the base is 10 here, unwritten. Base 10 of x plus 4 equals 5 thirds. We've got a single log, nothing added or multiplied on this side over here, outside of the parentheses, so I'm going to swirl. So 10 to the 5 thirds equals x plus 4. Well, <clears throat> I need to get x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So I have 10 to the 5 thirds power minus 4 equals x. Now, you can put this into your calculator, okay? You're going to have to use 10 and the caret and then put a fraction up there, 5 thirds. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show you when you get to class. So when I type that in, 10 to the 5 thirds power it gives me 46.42 minus that 4, and I get 42.42. That's number eight. Okay. All right, I want you to try this one, and we'll start with this problem in class tomorrow.